Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are back on the website of Tenant Auctioneers uh, based in the UK and we're going to have a look at their uh, latest auction which is scientific and musical instruments, cameras and tools. Uh, of course we're just going to have a look at the musical instruments section of this uh, which I think is about 81 uh, items or so. Uh, buyer's premium is 22% plus kind of some VAT. Um, check all the information as always and if you're outside of the UK then look up shipping charges etc etc uh, so just to show you there's a whole load of stuff it gets to the bottom and then we get into kind of the gramophone territory and radios which is probably a little bit out of what we want to look at as much as it is interesting and then on the second page there is some more radios gets into a few musical books like valves and things like that very interesting but probably a bit out of our thing and then a few records and then you hit the uh, telephones etc and then it's into scientific instruments so I think what we're going to do is just have a look at this auction probably just up to this last set of bagpipes and I think that will do um, so tenants if you've seen any of the other videos uh, of mine are a bit like my auction house nemesis because uh, their pictures are just usually not very helpful uh, other things are not very helpful and I think this is probably going to be much the same but I'll try to uh, kind of rein in my criticism um, but uh, yeah unfortunately some auction houses just are kind of not up to par I would say compared with other ones but these are not you know these are auctioneers that do all sorts of auctions so you know musical instruments is not necessarily a super important part of their business so they're not really geared up for those kind of sales uh, as opposed to specialist musical instrument auction houses and they don't necessarily have you know the top tier stuff either uh, sometimes they they do uh, and unfortunately that's when the kind of uh, the lack of kind of good photos and stuff becomes quite irritating but most of the time it really doesn't matter um, I've seen that now in this auction, this particular one, they seem to have given up actually bothering to describe anything in the title anymore. Everything's just violin or whatever, so uh, even more vague. Uh, so here we go, um, a violin labelled Arthur Bowler. Um, see that there's it's kind of a trade instrument and there's no, no other pictures and uh, you can click on the high resolution. I mean, I guess you can gather what it is from that picture. 80 to 120 pounds is the estimate seems a bit optimistic uh, another violin here uh, labeled Franciscus Gobetti with uh, two bows so these are the only pictures that they give us so once again not too helpful but I'll try to stop going on about that um, another violin here with a second violin in a case um, animal scrolled violin labeled Terence O'Rourke 1715 Island uh, bow stamped made in Germany um, and a Maidstone violin that's the Maidstone violin this is the kind of lion head violin which looks like a just a standard German trade instrument uh, from the images I'd ignore that label uh, here's a violin with a bow um, kind of difficult to really see exactly what this is but it looks to be just another kind of trade instrument another violin here in a wooden veneered double case uh, shame you can't see the lid of that the uh, case is potentially kind of more interesting than the violin potentially which looks like another trade violin um, violin uh, with another violin with a bow let's see if we can get some bigger pictures here it's uh, very difficult to see what's going on here really uh, at least the pictures are fairly high resolution I mean this violin here looks kind of interesting um, you know, it's hard to say if it's a just another trade violin, probably, or if it's something, something else. It certainly seems a little bit better 
and some of the other stuff but very difficult to say and this is probably one of the auctions that you want to view in person really so the other one looks fairly tradey another violin labeled Johann Christian Ficker um, this is a kind of fake snakewood bow with the varnish on it there um, this looks like a very it's a very tradey violin um, it's another violin here just another kind of trade violin two violins one says Matthias Klotz in Mittenwald and a student violin and seven bows wow it's interesting just trying to see if we've got any good things that we can pick up from these pictures not really it looks fairly standard another violin it says James McBain Greenock 1874 cased with a bow estimate three to four hundred pounds let's try and see what we can here interesting pegs I mean it's very hard to tell from the pictures but I mean this is it is possible that this could be a Scottish violin it's uh, definitely a possibility the bow looks kind of interesting as well but once again difficult to tell from the pictures but I'm sure you can ask for additional ones uh, this violin is quite interesting so violin labeled Caspar de Sada and Brescia um, so it's another violin as well both with bows Let's just have a look I don't think the bows are anything at all this violin is kind of a bit more interesting although it looks like it's had its varnish fiddled about it's probably just a standard trade violin but at least it looks like they've made an effort to actually make a kind of it's not really working uh, but it looks like they've made an effort on the scroll there to make it a bit different a bit more brushing I would say so slightly curious uh, another violin here breton violin so this is pretty a french kind of trade violin uh, possibly a uh, violin a uh, handwritten label perry maker dublin 1824 cased with uh, two bows one stamped jazz tubs um, let's try and see if we can get a higher and this is the difficulty of trying to deal with this I mean that bow does look a bit interesting um, I'm not sure about this violin at all that doesn't look like a Perry violin but it's very hard to tell from from that picture um, you definitely want to get a picture of the back with the Perry violins because they usually have a Perry Dublin stamp at the back on a specific font and then they'll have a number on the button sometimes they have their labels but uh, you really want to see the correct stamp at the back button and you want to see a number um, in the back not always if they've had repairs but it does fairly common another violin here labeled but told uh, luthier uh, paris and a few bows doesn't look like anything too outrageous it's just quite difficult to tell what's going on here that's uh, another violin no label no pegs an old old bow there looks vaguely interesting another violin with a strad label pretty standard everything looks normal that bow could be curious looks like potential 100 to 150 
another vine in there, another bow, looks pretty standard, another violin, label man, sorry, a parry with a bow. Once again, you just need more pictures really to know what's going on. Another violin, labelled Paul Bailey, two to two and a half thousand. I think these pictures are really not helping because I cannot really make out what's going on there. Violin um, with a bow stamped Seabird to the other taut. Not getting a whole lot from that so far a couple of islands labeled one would be home another duke london once again very difficult to tell from only these images what's uh, what exactly is going on but there you go that's sometimes when there's potential to get interesting things when the pictures are really bad you can sometimes get stuff that other people will ignore so that's one benefit of uh, bad auction photos her violin labeled marcel deme luthier 1947 so i mean from these pictures it's just really impossible to actually know what you're dealing with unfortunately um another violin here another strad copy type of thing yeah. Seems to be the same image. A viola and a bow stamped Lothar Seifert. Bow could be interesting. Um, yeah, it has has potential, but once again, need a few more images. Another viola here, labelled John Mather Harrogate. looks potentially believable uh, on that one another viola John Martha Harrogate Maybe worth looking in person file and bow stamped Peugeot certainly looks better than some of the other ones file and bow hills and suns let's have a look needs a bit more investigation but uh, possible viola case beers and sons ma gorge case these are always good cases heavy but decent four cellos there's a whole load of kind of trade cellos here another two cellos another cello here not much information but looks interesting has some potential possibly another cello there Andreas Zeller, Romanian cello there another cello tradey type thing another generic kind of cello um, it's a trumpet with a it's a cello in a trumpet that's a bit of a Okay, cello together with the trumpet, that's a bit of an odd lot, but okay. Various bows, a quick scan over it, it just looks like the usual junk. Um, double bass, three strings, looks at least vaguely interesting. With a German pattern bow, double bass here, check double bass. Uh, three clarinets uh, and uh, saxophone, an alto saxophone plain body that's kind of quite interesting and oboe by Noble interesting two clarinets uh, Puffet Crampon and Boozy and Hawks Moex Soprano Recorder with a Rustler Alto Recorder and a 
Bouzian Hawks Regent uh, Oboe. Wooden Flute by Goulding Diaman, Soho Square London. Some other bits and pieces as well, looks fairly interesting. Tenor Saxophone by Lewin. Uh, Euphonium Class A by Boozing Co. Fender Telecaster Metallic Cherry Red made in Japan. Fender Telecaster uh, Mustard Yellow, two pickups. And Fender Dual Showman Reverb, Reverb Amp Head, actually quite a good amp. Uh, Ibanez Bass Guitar, EDB 700. Uh, Gibson ES335, a semi acoustic guitar. Oh, they've actually decided to make an effort on uh, pictures on this one. Good, good. Not too bad actually in the pictures, if only they made the same effort on the rest of it. Okay. CITES certificate there, 1000 to 1500 is the estimate. Ibanez model 647 acoustic guitar for, from Japan. Various musical equipment, some rubbish guitars, some recording stuff, some random equipment, some books and stuff. Well, could be some interesting stuff there. Yamaha PA system there. Various microphones and uh, TIAC uh, reel to reel tape recorder. That's actually quite cool. 1000 to 1200. Not too common anymore, so that's quite good. Uh, Contessa automatic rhythm instrument model mini pop 7 and some other kind of drum paddy things. Ozark mandolin banjo together with a flat back mandolin oh, it's a whole load of uh, things a couple of banjo mandolin type things Ozark five string banjo 80 to 120 is the estimate there hey banjo there with a bowl back mandolin banjo by Clifford in Essex with a New Windsor banjo banjo by Maybell and an Ozark banjo lady with uh, another Ozark uh, banjo Deering good time four string banjo Deering good time five string banjo Tanglewood tenor banjo there and an Ezraj labelled Bernard Bock Ricard Pick with a metal djembe and another instrument. It's a bit of a random lot, but uh, curious enough. Actually, we need miss something here. There you go, that's the main instrument. Uh, Rosini Cavaco Classico uh, Mandolin Bowback by Hona and a Mandolinetto Ovation of Ukuleles there, it's like tenor and soprano, yeah, quite cute actually, quite nice. Uh, various Ukuleles Carla. Interesting uh, record, record King Resonator ukulele, that's quite cool. A uh, kind of bass ukulele with a baritone ukulele, quite nice. A uh, Ko Aloha soprano ukulele. A uh, Kamaka tenor electroacoustic ukulele, these will probably all do well because ukulele is quite popular. An accordion here. More than one accordion. Uh, Frontalini accordion. 
and one of these auto hops presentational baton various instruments some drums accordion mini balalaika kind of type thing in a random stand A Yamaha bass recorder, melodica, and a melodica in fact. A Yamaha keyboard with a Roland E66 intelligent synth. And bagpipes with sealed bag seasoning, replacement threads, reads not fitted with tutor book and lessons. And I think that's it. We're at the end of the musical instrument, so it's the standard uh, tenant style auction with not enough pictures to really know what you're looking at but if you can see it in person then it's uh, you know maybe there's some interesting stuff um, not much information to go on there some of the pictures are not bad quality actually to be fair um, some of them are not great it's a real mixed bag but um, if you're interested um, I'll put a link in the description uh, and yeah let's just hope that the next auction is uh, a bit more uh, a bit more better on the photos anyway uh, that's enough of my ranting uh, i'll catch you next time ciao for now bye many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon Thank you.